What's up guys? What's up? What's up? Welcome back to Big John's Cooking. Uh, today we'll be making guacamole. Uh, my interpretation of it, my way of making it. Um, they, I've met many people in my life that say they don't like guacamole and they've had mine and they liked it. They loved it. One person even took the container and started walking away from me when they said two seconds before that they don't like avocados or guacamole at all so or maybe it's just guacamole I don't know either one people love it um so yeah yeah, yeah. we're gonna get right into it like comment subscribe you know thank you for coming back thank you for joining hope you come back for more and let's get into it yes let's get into it get into it Alright, so uh, first we're going to handle the avocados. Can't make anything with, can't make any type of guacamole without the avocados in it. Ava staccato. Ava staccato. Ava staccato. And one day I'll show you how to pick these. Um, one, little, one, one little helpful, helpful hint. Uh, what I did was these were frozen. I unthawed these, but um, frozen avocados, one, yes, you can freeze avocados. And they are much better, you can actually freeze anything. But they're much better for at least guacamole, um, making guacamole because they're already mushy and it's really easy to make them clean and stuff like that. Um, I mash them with the fork. I don't use like a processor or a blender or anything like that. Uh, I've seen some people who do. You know, just not my thing. Really just not how I learned how to do it. I'm pretty sure if I learned how to do it like that, from the jump, that would be like my go-to method. That's how I typically am. Once I start with something, I stick with it. Um, Whether it's food or people or whatever, you know, that's just how I generally am. Uh, so yeah, go ahead and just cut them all in half. You can just stick the knife in like this and then just rotate it. And be careful if you really need to hold it at the bottom and then aim the knife at, well, if it's frozen, you don't need to. It's going to come out like that if it's frozen more than likely. Or if it has been frozen and it's thawed out, the seed will come out very, very easily. If, uh, if it's not frozen and you successfully picked a good avocado because you know what you're doing, then take a knife, twist, pull out. And the last one. And but yeah, um, one day I'm gonna show you all how to pick avocados. Uh, not, not today. I mean, I'll tell you some things. What you really want to feel for is like, if it's firm but it has a little bit, you can push it in a little bit, you know. Then that's a ripe ripe avocado. Um, that's one way to indicate. Two, uh, once you it has these little stem things, blossoming blossom parts. If you like move that and it's like green along with the firm pressing that's a really good indicator really really good indicator there was another way i just can't remember at the moment but go ahead and cut all these in half oh i didn't cut all the way through should just be able to twist it off what is that with this uh here we go. Get you a bowl or something with a lot of space in it and um, mash. So you know you have room to move around and put all your weight onto it. Alright, sometimes these avocados might be a little bit harder than you expect to mash them. This is my preferred method. It comes out how I like it, the texture, the creaminess. 
but if you want to use a blender no one is stopping you or if you want to use a processor no one is stopping you this is just how I like to do it every time no matter how difficult it is every time I like my avocado creamy, you know, with some of the avocado chunks in it. It's not like big chunks, but just, you know, creamy, but mashed. I don't know if that makes sense. I don't know how, I don't know any other way to explain it. Sometimes the avocado might be a little hard for you to mash. I just put some more elbow grease into it and it yields. Sometimes I'll, I'll like take them out and like cut them into smaller pieces. I did that this time. I cut them into smaller pieces to make it easier to focus on one little small section, one little small piece at a time. What I advise when mashing up a difficult piece of avocado, the fork, don't try to go for the whole piece at once. Use the edge of the fork to like scathe it and like cut it and wear it down. All right, now this is mashed up after a lot of hard work. I'm gonna go ahead and add our scallions. Onion, scallion. Uh, for like four onion, I mean four avocados, I usually like to do three or four scallions. Green onions, scallions, whatever you wanna call them. I've already rinsed them off, rinsed all of them off. What I'm gonna do is gonna cut off the very tops very top, very tops. Oh. And the very bottoms. Alright. You know, just peel, peel the outermost layer. That's the layer with all the dirt, and that's the layer that was, I believe, in the soil. I don't know, but. Peel the outer layer, and it's kind of slimy too, like it makes it a little bit harder to cut. I wouldn't say slimy, more like slippery. It's a little slippery. Slippery, excuse me. That's a good song. Ya can't deny it. All right. And chop. Don't cut your fingers off. For the dear love of everything. Holy, don't cut your fingers off. Thumb behind your knuckles. And move back as the knife moves back. Thumb behind the knuckles. Because you'll be cutting, you'll forget about the thumb, and you'll just be moving back. That's all you'll be focused on. And you'll move back to the thumb. Fwa! And you'll have no thumb to move back to from there on out. True story. Could be if you don't follow my instructions. So, put in your onion to taste however, however much you like. I think it's good for me, maybe. Let's mix it and see. The ratio. I add a little, little bit more. Yes, that's perfectly fine right there. Oh. What I forgot to get, the cell contro. I'm going to push this to the side. Get a little container for that in a second. So in the process of cutting cilantro, I completely forgot this, that I was recording. 
and I just started cutting. So cut your cilantro. What you really kind of want to do is, you know, get your cilantro, um, put it into a bunch, and like finely chop it. That's all you want to do. Just go across the board one direction and chop it thinly. Let's mix it up and see the ratio real quick. Put... Yep, there we go. That should be all we need. We have two more things to do. Lime juice and salt and pepper. There's really no reason to taste right now. It's gonna taste like straight avocado with some onion and cilantro on it. What I just did, just you know, I kind of rolled it up, applied some pressure to break up the fibers on the inside. So the juice comes out easily. Cut it in half. It doesn't have seeds, so just squeeze. And this is also the taste, uh, I say start off with, with half a lime and then add the salt and pepper and mix it and taste it and if you need more lime then add it or if you know how you like it then you know start off with half a lime and then you know add to the desired intensity of lime juice yes Salt and pepper time. I usually add about three or four. You always want to style small first, taste it, and then apply to taste. more salt and pepper. I'm gonna add a little bit more lime. No, I'm gonna just add the whole line. The whole line. I'm almost done anyways. Might, might as well add the rest. But mind you, this is for four four avocados. Quattro. Quanto es cuatro. Quanto es cuatro. Here we go. The consistency starting to come out how I like it. One more thing of salt and pepper. A little bit more cilantro. I think we'll be in business. Don't add too much salt though. Uh, especially if you like to eat it with chips because most of the time the chips are already salty and that just adds to it. It just makes it taste much better. So don't want to add too much salt. Just want it to, you know, be good by itself good enough by itself is really the way I use it at least is really more of a add-on food like you eat it with some chips you know um, but it's not meant to be super salty by itself you know or you eat it uh, in a burrito or fajitas or whatever you know by itself it's gonna taste good but meant to be paired with other things That's me right there. Yes, yes. I got some. I don't want to throw these down actually because this is too, you don't want to break them. I got some Tostitos. Yes. And the scoops. La scoop. La scoop. La scoop. 
And uh, yeah, yeah, we're gonna try it out. So yeah, I like it. I love it. It's great. Love avocados. You should too. Love guacamole as you should too. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoy it. See you next time.